morning all the participants. We are now approximately half the way through our Janaganit series. Now I am going to give you a slightly more difficult problem. Are you ready? 3 into 4 plus 3 into 5 plus 3 into 6. Can you tell me what are the factors? Yes, Gyan Jyoti? Very good. So, what is the first factor? 3. And what is the second factor? 4 plus 5 plus 6. 4 plus 5 plus 6. Very good. So, now let us proceed. I am going to ask you To tell me the factors of, if I write A into B, Nandita, what are the factors? A and B. A and B, because this is like a bracket. A is, some, is something which you can put in brackets. I can put brackets here. I can put brackets here. It won't change the problem. So this is the factors are A and B. Now, if I put A equal to 2 plus 3 and I put B equal to 4 plus 5. Gyan Jyoti, what are the factors of A into B? 2 plus 3 mm -hmm. into 4 plus 5. Yeah. First factor is? 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3. Second factor is? 4 plus, 4 plus 5. 5. Very good. Okay. So now we know how to recognize factors. The next problem is, I am going to write A into B into C. So, Gyan Jyoti, which are the factors here? A, B and C. A, B and C. There are three factors. Or oh, I could say also, there are now two factors. A is one factor and B into C is the other factor. Okay. So if that is so, Nandita, tell me the factors of 2 into A into B. 2a and b are 2 in, into a and 2 into a and b. Not 2 into a and b. 2 into? a and the another, other factor is b. Yeah, but a and b is not a factor. No. What is a factor? If one factor a. is 2, the other factor is? a and b. Not a and b. This is not a and b. This is? a into b. a into b. Okay, so A into B is one factor, 2 is one factor, or we could say that 2A is one factor and B is another factor, or we can say that there are three factors, 2, A and B. Okay, now Gyan Jyoti, I am giving you this problem, A, we know that A into B I can also write that as AB, right? AB and A into B are the same thing. This is a different way of writing A into B. Sometimes you say A dot B, sometimes you say AB. This is just how language is used in mathematics. 
a little loosely, a little differently from time to time. So remembering this now, Gyan Jyoti, tell me what are the factors of AB plus AC plus AD? A into B plus C plus D. A into? B plus C plus D. B plus C plus D. B plus C plus D is in brackets. In brackets. I have to put brackets. So the first factor is? A. And the second factor is? B plus C plus D. B plus C plus D. Very good. So now we are making further progress. If I have A into B into C, we know the factors are A, B and C, right? So now, what are the factors of A into A into A? Three A. Three A. No, three A is, is not a factor, may not be a factor of, let's, so the first factor is? A. A. Second factor is? A. A. Third factor is? A. A. So here the factors are A, A and A. Okay, just keep that in mind. Now this is a long form. Remember long form and short form? What is the short form of A into A into A? Nandita? A raised to 3. A raised to? So A raised to 3, actually there are three factors here, A, A and A. Okay, now we go to the next problem. I am going to write the short form 2AB squared and both Nandita and Gyan Jyoti, on your slate, write the long form of 2AB squared. Very good. 2 into A into B into B. So supposing A is 3 and B is Four. What is two AB squared? Do it on your calculator. What answer did you get? Yanjoti? You have it there on your slate. A is 3 and B is 4. So what is 2AB squared? Forty-eight. Forty-eight. B squared. What is B squared? B into B. B into B. Do B into B. What do you get? 16. 16. Multiply by A. 48. 48. And what about this factor? 96. 96. Okay. So, 2AB squared is... 2 into 3 into 4 into 4, which is 96. Okay, one more problem. You have to tell me the long form of 2 cubed into 3 squared. Write it down on your slate. The long form of 2 cubed into 3 squared.
2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Correct. And write down the short form of 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 3. Two raised to four into three raised to four, right? So now we know how to keep track of multiplications. Now let's go on further now. And I'm going to ask you to evaluate. Evaluate means work out in the calculator what is 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. 120. 120. So what are the factors of 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the factors of 120. Can I factorize 2 further? No. Can I factorize 3 further? No. Can I factorize 4 further? No. Does 4 have factors? What are the factors of 4? 2 into 2. 2 into 2. So I can factorize this. Can I factorize 5? No. no. So 2, 3, and 5 are known as the prime factors. But 4 is not a prime factor because 4 is not a prime number. So if I want to factorize in terms of only prime numbers, what will I write? Please do that problem. Factorize 120 in terms of only prime numbers. Two into three into two into two into five. That is the long form. Now convert it into the short form. Leave it as it is. Don't 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 erase it. Below below that, write the short form. Both of you have written 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. But this is not the shortest form. What is the shortest form? Okay. 120 is also a very short form, yes. But if I want to write it, 10 into 12 is also a shorter form. These are all shorter forms, different forms. All of, of, all of your answers are not wrong. If I asked you the question, write it in terms of the short form using prime factors only.
So what Nanita has written is 2 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 5. And she has taken these three tools together and written that as 2 cubed, which is 2 into 2 into 2, into 3 into 5, which is also a short form. So my question about what is the short form actually had many answers. This is the short form using only prime factors. Okay. Now I'm going to give you this problem. I'm telling you this number and you have to find out using the calculator this form or this form where I break up the number into its prime factors. So the problem that I'm going to give you now is take the number Sixty, and write it as a product of prime factors. Now you know the prime factors for 120. So for 60, it should be something that you can do without the calculator. Just turn the slate over. Turn your slate over. You have on the other side. Show me what's on the other side. Right. That is the factors of 120. So by looking at that, can you write the factors of 60? How do I go from 60 to 120? What is 60 plus 60? 120. 120. So how do I go from 60 to 120? I multiply by? One. If I multiply 60 by 1, I get 60. To go to 120, I have to multiply 60 by? Two. Two. Right? So now look at the factorization of 120. That is 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. That is the factorization of 120. By looking at that, can you tell me the factorization of 60? To go from 20 to 10, what do I do? Minus. Minus, Minus what? 20 into 10. No, to go from 20 to 10, I minus? 20 minus 10. 20 minus 10, I minus 10, right? So now the question is, that there, which you have written, 2 into 3 into 4 into 5, that is equal to? 120. 120. Now to go from 120 to 60, what do I have to do? Sixty into two. Sixty into two is one twenty. So what is into two in that expression there? In that expression which you have, you have two into three into four into five. So what is into two? Three. Not just three. If two is one factor, what is the other factor there? Three and what else? Four and five. Okay. So now what we have to do is like this. Okay. I'm writing here 120 and I'm writing here 60. So I can write 120 is equal to 60. into 2. 2 into 60 is 120. Okay. 
Now I know that 120 is equal to 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So look at this and look at this. So what is 60 equal to? 2 into 12 into No, look at this. Look at this and look at this. These two are equal. This and that are equal. So what is 60 equal to? 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Do it on the calculator. So 60 is not 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. This 2 into 60 is 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So what is 60 equal to? Three into four into five. Let's see. Let's try it. Try it on your calculator. Right? So by looking at this, you know that sixty is three into four into five. Okay. So Let's do some more practice now. I can say 2 into 60 is 120. I can also say that 60 is equal to 120. No, I multiply 60 by 2, I get 120. What do I do to 120 to get 60? Divide. Divide by? Mm, two. By two. So how will I write 120 divided by two? I can write it as 120 upon? Two. Two. Okay. Now I can write 120 as factors. What are the factors? Two into three into four into, into five. Into three into four into five upon this two. So now, what can I do? Divide. No, here now, if I have 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator, what can cancel. I do? Cancel, right? So I cancel this and I cancel this and I can get 1 and 1 here. So that is equal to 1 into 3 into 4 into 5, which is the same as 3 into 4 into 5. Okay, so now we know how to factorize, we know how to cancel. So we know that 120 is double of 60. So we write that as 120 is equal to 2 into 60. And we also know that 120 is 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So looking at this, 2 into 60 is equal to 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. Can you tell me the factors of 60? What are the factors of 60? 3 into 4 into 5. This part. Because the 2 into this is 2 into that. So this part is, should be the factors of 60. So let us see on your calculator, see whether 60 is 3 into 4 into 5. It is. So now, let us see how to use a calculator to factorize various numbers. Okay? The way to do it is like this. You start out with the number 
and you divide by the prime numbers starting from the bottom. So let me write the prime numbers here. The first prime number is the number 2. The next one is the number 3. After that, 5. After that, 7. After that, 9 is not a prime number. 9 is 3 into 3. It's not prime. So 9 is not a prime number. 10, is it a prime number? No. Next one is 11. And so on. Okay, 11, 13, 15 is not a prime number. And then 17. These are all the Now, the way to factorize a number using your calculator, let's see that. Hmm. Let's factorize the number 30. So what do you do? Start out with 30 and you divide by the first prime number on your calculator. What do you get? 30 divided by the first prime number is? 15. 15. So I can write 30 as 2 into 15. 15. Now, then I take 15. Can I divide 15 by 2? No. So I take the next prime number and I divide 15 by the next prime number. What is the next prime number? I can't divide by 2 now. Now I go to the next prime number which is? 5. No, next prime number is 3. So divide 15 by 3 on, on your calculator. What do you get? 5. 5. So I can write 15 as 2 into 3 into 5. And 5 again is a prime number. So now everything is a prime number. So this is a prime factorization of 30. Let's do another example. Okay, let me take the number 49. Okay. So divide 49 by 2. It's not, 49 is not divisible by 2. I get some point something. I get some, some decimal part, right? 24.5. I get something point. So I don't want point. So it's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? No. Is it divisible by 5? Is it divisible by 7? Yes. So what do you get? 49 is equal to? 7. 7? Into? Into? 7. You were dividing by 7 and the answer was? 7. seven. So it is 7 into? 7. seven. Check it out. See if 7 into 7 is 49. It is. Alright. So now I am going to give you a problem which you have to solve in this way. Start out with the prime numbers and keep writing these equalities. Factorize the number 45. So start out with the lowest prime numbers. Which is the lowest prime number? Does 2 divide 45? No. So then you go to? 
What do you get? So how will you write 45 as? Fifteen. Continue with fifteen, factorizing fifteen. What is fifteen? Fifteen divided by five is so fifteen is equal to what into what? Five into three. Five into three. So write that now. That's equal to no. First, first write that. Three part. The three you have to write as it was earlier into, and now you can replace fifteen by. Three into five into three. Okay, so now it is factorized. So now one more problem. We wrote. 45 is equal to 3 into 15 and then we checked out that is equal to 3 into 15 was 3 into 5. Okay. Now factorize 98. So we've got 98 is 2 into 49, but we know the factors of 49. So we write that as 2. Show that to the camera. Right? 2 into 7 into 7. So this is how we use the calculator to uh, factorize numbers. Of course, you are not allowed to use calculators in the exam. But we are using calculators here because we want to understand what to do. In a later session, we will see how to do multiplications without having to memorize the multiplication table. So we will do a session on how to forget the multiplication table so that you can quickly do multiplications and you do not, when you don't have a calculator, you can still do multiplications quickly and easily. That we will do in another session. So let us just take a review of what we have done in the last session on factors. We saw that factors are the brackets that multiply. We saw that what is inside the bracket we call the factor. We learned how to write the, a number as a product of factors. We know how to write an algebraic expression as a product of factors. 2ab squared is 2 into a into b into b. So now we know how to break up an expression into factors. Again, sometime later when we talk about factorization of polynomials, we will come back to this subject. But we have done factorization of integers. And we know also how to cancel the common factors. We did one or two examples of that. So by doing these examples, we are learning how to work with formula. By the end of this 
entire session, you will be able to work with formula very easily. And that is the objective of these sessions is that you should lose your fear of formula. Your self-confidence will increase because you have solved the problem. Today we have solved a lot of problems. I hope your self-confidence about solving such problems is increasing step by step. In the next session, we will go to that part of the problem. Remember when you divided 49 by 2, you don't get a whole number. You get something after the decimal point. So what is this decimal point? What are decimals? This is something that we will tackle in our next session. Thank you. See you.